Hello students, Mrs. Van Sickle here with a brief introduction about infographics and how to use the program Convey, which we are going to be using to create infographics. There's this infographic in front of you on student bullying has a load of information in it. We have text, we have statistics, we have all sorts of visuals that make it easier for the reader to understand what our statistics are about. Here we see one person out of four students will be abused or bullied by another student. So an infographic makes it easy to understand research content visually. And they look pretty cute. They look pretty cool. So here's some more information about infographics. An infographic is data that is sorted and arranged to be visually pleasing and easy to understand at a glance. It might be a graph. It might be specifically a pie graph, a pictogram a bar graph, anything that will stand out to make the reader understand the information more easily. Here's an example, again, of an infographic that has statistics with a little bit of explanation about the, the statistic and some nice imagery, which also kind of emphasizes the point the infographic is trying to make. Now, I don't want anybody to be intimidated by this. You don't have to be artsy because there is a great program called Canva or Convey, which shows you how to, which here's a tutorial that will show you how to use it. This tutorial was put together by Mrs. Cannon, our LRC director. So watch Hi there, and enjoy. Hey, this is a quick tutorial to show you how to use Canva to create stunning graphics like the infographic project you're working on right now. So first, you're going to want to head to canva.com. This is the home screen. Rather than logging in here at the top right, you're going to select Google. Before you do that, though, you're going to have to provide your first name and that you're a student. I'm going to go ahead and click teacher, but again, you're going to click student, and then we can select Google. It's going to probably have you click on your school account and then choose allow, and then you should be all set. All right, so here we are inside the home screen of Canva or the gallery. This is where you can start a new design here, or you can scroll down if you've already been in Canva and pick up one you've already started. For this project, I want an infographic. I'm going to this is where you can start a new design here, or you can scroll down if you've already been in Canva and pick up one you've already started. For this project, I want an infographic. I'm going to um, take a look here. I'm not seeing infographic as one of my choices, so we're gonna go to Browse All. So give that a click, and then you should see a lot more design canvas open up. And if you scroll down to marketing, you, yep, there it is, infographic. So let's give that one a click. And now we're inside our design window. On the left, we're going to see all the different templates that we can use to get started. And this is kind of a helpful way to um, begin with, with a template that you're going to completely customize, change the information, completely make your own. But again, it's a nice way to start. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose up here this one. Make sure you are selecting ones that have the free next to, the, um, next to it. All right, so now that I have this selected, it's in my window, this is where I can do my editing. First thing I wanna show you is down here, you can adjust the size. It's always gonna to default to a really small view so that you can see the whole infographic, but I would strongly suggest that while you're working section by section that you increase that. I'm gonna go here to 50 because I can still see it, um, but I'm much more zoomed in now. All right, so we can go ahead and get started. Elements, this is a great place to search if you know some kind of icon or graphic you wanna put inside of your project. I'm just gonna type in globe. Again, um, you're gonna to wanna to look for that little free icon. 
And what's nice about these ones is that you're going to pull it over and you're going to notice that it has a transparent background. So they're perfect for layering. Um, they don't have a white box around it that can kind of make that ruin the design look of your um, graphic. So you can see there, you can do that. Um, another thing I wanted to show you is that a lot of these are customizable. So let's say I wanted to include an arrow. And I want my arrow to look like this, but I'm not happy about that color. I can go up here where the colors are and I can just select a different choice for that. Um, this is my default colors are showing me that so far in my infographic, these are the ones I've used, these first two here being the globe. And then there's some other ones here. So I could say, well, let's stay within this palette, which is a nice option to make sure that you're um, being consistent. If I chose a different color, let's say I wanted this yellow, then this yellow now is up here in my palette that I'm using. So you ideally when you're designing want to keep this to about maybe four colors or so. You don't want to have too many um, because you want, again, your design to be consistent and visually appealing to the eye. So I'm going to go ahead and put my arrow here. I can adjust the size of things by clicking on them and then I can see here where my arrows, where it turns into double arrows so I can say, let's have this go to here. I'm gonna adjust the font so that it goes right here. And again, it's pretty easy to use. Um, you can move things up and down. You just kind of gotta make sure you get, there we go, those arrows. You can adjust font up here. So you can make it whatever font you want it to be. And size is right up here. Color, again, completely customizable. So as you're working and you're putting in your information and you're changing up the template so that it looks exactly like how you want it, um, at times you might want to, again, zoom out, see how it's starting to look um, as a finished project. And then you can hit the X to get back to the design window here. A couple things over here, text is over here. I would strongly suggest that you drag these three over rather than this. Um, this ends up giving you a lot of extra text that you're not gonna probably want. Um, but a heading will just be an easy thing to click on and now you have a heading that you could put wherever you wanted to put it. Let's say I wanted to have a heading right there. So I just drag that over. Um, backgrounds, if you want to change the backgrounds, again, just be careful that you are looking at free choices and be sure that the background isn't too busy. You don't want to distract from your information. Uploads, this is where you can bring in any pictures that you found, graphics or images. So once you have brought it in, you'll see here, these are past ones that I have used. They stay in here for you to use. Um, again, be mindful of finding graphics that have that transparent background so that it layers nicely as you design. And then if you upload, if you want to upload there, that's where you can do that. Um, okay, so one thing I want to show you is this site, which is remove.bg. What's cool about this site is it allows you to take any picture that has a human in it or some kind of person in it. Um, it can be cartoon, a cartoon person, but it's got to have some kind of a person, not just like an object. And you can upload it and it will take the background away. So I'm gonna go ahead and select a photo. You can also just enter a URL. If you found one, you just wanna copy and paste. And I'm gonna go ahead and select this one. And I'm gonna click open. And I don't have to do anything. It does all the work for me. Now there is my picture that I have, um, that now has a transparent background. So I can download it. And then I can come on back over here to Canva and I can go to my uploads. And I can pull that transparent picture right in. I'll wait for that to load. So again, maybe you find an image that you really like that you want to put in here, but it has that white background or it has some kind of a background that doesn't allow you to layer on top. You can go ahead and use remove.bg to take care of that background, download it, and then upload it into Canva. So hopefully this tutorial got you thinking about how you might use um, Canva to design your infographic. If you have any questions, need any help, just ask.